Just arrived in Sasebo. I'm at this little shop called Hamburger Shop Hikari. Sasebo is famous for its uh, many hamburger places. This is just my first stop. I'm gonna go to some other places. <laughs> This guy is just sleeping there. I'm at the Sasebo Seaside Park and there's like a giant anchor over there. I want to go check it out. It's basically a representation of my life thus far. Improved Martin's Patton Anchor Adelphi Pattern. Soul Maker H. Charlton and Company. Nice job H. Charlton and Co. Made in England. Nice job, England. The fuck is that over there? Some kind of big fucking rock. I realize that I need to do a lot more talking in my videos. My videos consist mostly of just B-roll footage. Can't really call it a vlog if your vlog is just full of B-roll with music. I mean, that's supposed to be your filler, right? There's a big fucking rock right here. It's a little bit rainy today, but that's okay. It's like we're on the harbor here. As Nass. Gonna talk a lot more on camera and it's kind of hard though. Not really big on the whole white guy waving a camera around and yelling at a camera, which I'm probably actually pretty quiet compared to a lot of people I see on YouTube. I need a beer. That would really help. That would help loosen the lips. Get a, get a couple beers in me. So here we are at the world famous Sasebo US Marine Base. It's a big fucking ocean. There's bird shit right here. I almost touched it. I would have ruined my day. Okay, now this is pretty cool. I almost missed this. I was walking down that way below and out of the corner of my eye I saw this giant thing sticking up and I was like, is that a fucking whale? I had to come up here and see it. Hell yeah! I'm guessing that there's supposed to be water that shoots out of there. That's not happening today. Womp womp womp. That's a nice view though. Hell yeah. I gotta stop saying hell yeah all the time. I need to come up with a new one like Kazam or some shit. Let's check out the hotel here in Sasebo. First, let's be a good little guy, Jin, and take off my shoes. I haven't been in here yet, so let's see what it looks like. Oh, hell yeah. We got futons and shit. We got, I don't know what's behind that door, but uh, it's a table, TV. What do we got in here? Closet and let's see. More futons, lots of futons and blankets. Let's see what's going on here. Holy shit. Okay. So we got like a little mini fridge there and little table with seats and let's open these things up and try not to break them because these things are actually very expensive believe it or not and uh let's look outside there is the mountain view all right cool quite spacious hotel here guess i'm gonna go on the boat ride now and uh get a little drunk and uh i'll see you there Yeah. 
Oh shit, the boat's moving. Thank I didn't know. I think I'm gonna get down today. now. It was named Mirai, meaning future, in the hope that it would lead the way into the future. It is Japan's first electrically propelled excursion boat. Uh, yeah, I have a huge fear of heights and the ocean and drowning and boats, but uh, overcoming fears here today. I'm just gonna walk across the boat here. All well, the boat's moving a lot. Adventure. Water Never do that. Come on. It's all about the respect. Why the hell would you need to smoke on a boat? This is intoxicating. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, I can't go in there. I want to steer the boat. Oh hell yeah! Look at this shit. Really? You learn something new every day. Hey, look, there's like a beach over there. Like a little tiny beach over there. The big island that has been visible on the left for some time is Makinoshima Island. In the old days, there used to be over a here? bar or a makiba on the island owned by the Hirado clan. I don't know if you can hear that. That's why it came to be called Makinoshima. This island over here, I guess. On the right with a deep cove is Motonoshima Island. Let's wave at them and see if they wave back. Between the island and the mainland is narrow and shallow. They don't see me. What the hell are they doing over there? I like that they have all these announcements up here. I didn't expect that. They're uh, giving you some history lessons about the various different islands. I didn't know this had the most concentrated amount of islands in all of Japan. That's crazy. Oh, there's a whole look at the shrine over there. Way down there, there's a, there's a little shrine. You probably can't see it, but. Shrine in the middle of nowhere on a, on a little island. I'm the king of the world! In front of the boat is Katsunajima Island. It is an island with particularly beautiful trees. I just fought, I just uh, fought, I fought a bunch of pirates. I just uh, shot my first drinking with Johnny on a boat. Many more to come. Click like if you want to see more of that. Having a nice, the having a nice lemon highball from Jim Beam on the boat. Oh yeah, I'm all about that climax. This is the climax, guys. A three-hour tour. A three-hour tour. If you know what show that's from, let me know in the comments below. Oh, Over that way, in those islands over there, that's where they shot the last samurai movie. Not the last samurai movie, but the movie is called The Last Samurai. I think I saw it. The Tom Cruise? It's pretty cringe, to be honest. Is that from the 90s? Late 90s, early 2000s? 
The Last Samurai. I know I saw it as a kid. I probably thought it was cool too, but now it's just cringe. So apparently they said this looks like a lion. I don't see it. Nah. I think uh, they're, they're on something. Stimulant drugs. Well, that's the first time I've seen a boat pass this entire boat trip. Alright, after about an hour, we're coming to the end of this trip here. We went in a full circle around a bunch of islands. There's a lot of islands. But yeah, coming to the end here. I'm excited. Got a little buzz going on. And uh, I'm hungry. I'm gonna get some food. another burger over here get some beer oh that's big I got my giant burger here it's burning my hand like crazy to get this shot, so I'm gonna put it down. I just stopped off at Bell Beach Burger Shop in Sasebo. It's a Sasebo burger. It's huge. Of course, I got a Asahi Super Dry beer. So first of all, let's crack open the beer. Kanpai. All right. This is a big boy. Let's uh, see if I can dig into this. Let's go. And we're going to stop it right there because, yeah, it's just a, a giant fucking mess, as you can see. The guy uh, was a nice guy, but he uh, put a lot of sauces on here. A lot of mayonnaise and mustard and ketchup. It's just a giant mess. I dropped some onions. I forgot to grab a napkin. Overall, I give this 4 out of 5. I have to knock a star off because they put way too much fucking sauce on it. I'm going to go back to... I probably have tons of fucking shit all over me, but so you have to excuse me there. Um, yeah. I'm gonna head back to the hotel and uh, call it a day, and then tomorrow I'll be going to Nagasaki for the first time. Ooh, it's so fancy. And old. What the fuck? Where did they even get this? If you look really closely, there's the first floor, second floor, third floor, and fifth floor. There's no fourth floor. They are very superstitious about the fourth floor. It like means death or something. So they don't have a fourth floor, they just skip it. Which is fucking hilarious. Alright guys, I'm back in my hotel. It is about, I think 8.30 almost. Got a pizza here. And I got a couple beers in the little mini fridge. Yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep soon because I got an early day tomorrow. Wake up, have breakfast, head over to Nagasaki for the day. So thanks for checking out this video. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more vlogs. And uh, hopefully I'll see you on the Nagasaki vlogs.